get recruited by UCLA men or women's soccer in order to play college soccer? I'm the college soccer guy, and I'm here to help you play college soccer. So as it happens, I live in Westwood, so I get to go watch the women and the men's soccer team almost every day, and I watch them train, and I watch them play in their games, and so I really have been up close and personal specifically with UCLA. And then in this off season, off season for the college, a lot of potential recruits for UCLA I got to watch and I even got to play with because I still play at a very high level myself. And one of the players I interviewed and I asked him, how did you get committed to UCLA? And he's gonna tell us right now. I wanna preface this and say, this player is playing for LAFC. LAFC 2 has offered him a pro contract, yet he still chose to commit to UCLA. Let's talk to him right now. Funny story, I saw him on the freeway yesterday, um, but I made this video uh, probably like Three or four weeks ago. Okay, here we go. Okay, I told you this guy is Tony Cruz on steroids. You are going to UCLA, is that correct? Yeah. Just give us a quick two second summary. How did you get recruited to UCLA? Um, how did you get was like was he emailed me, um, and then I texted him. It was really good when he came to like five games, and then after that he offered me. Amazing. Yeah. So it sounds really easy. I'm a baller. I just went to play soccer. He came and watched me, then he committed me. And the truth is for some elite level players in this recruiting process, it can be that easy. Look, he's been offered a pro contract to play in MLS. That's a really big deal and he's playing college soccer. If you wanna play at UCLA or any of the top schools, you need to understand that unless you're playing MLS next or at an extraordinarily high level of ECNL for the girls and for the boys, those schools are not gonna recruit you. So that means, is it worth going to their camp? Maybe, maybe not. You can go as an eighth, ninth grader because it's a good experience, you can get an honest feedback, but to get recruited, you almost primarily have to be playing MLS Next, and you don't have to take my word for it. Go look at the roster. 98% of the students are playing MLS Next or coming from an MLS Next Academy. And this year alone, UCLA had three players turn pro, two of which were drafted into MLS. So it's a very, very high level. Now, in my own career, I was never being recruited by UCLA as much as I wanted to be, but that didn't stop me from playing college soccer and even going pro, and then in some cases having a better soccer career than many players that went to UCLA. But UCLA is recruiting national team kids or kids that are rejecting pro offers. But what can you do if you're not that to get recruited by UCLA? The biggest thing is you do want to send them an email, but you need to go get the interest of other schools first for two reasons. One, if you only focus on your top division one schools that are maybe out of your reach and you keep doing that for its junior year, senior year, you're going to end up not being able to play college soccer. Whereas if you go reach out to some smaller D1 schools, smaller D3 schools, smaller D2 schools, and you get their interest, one, you have a backup plan. And number two, you can leverage some of that to finally get the interest of UCLA. So if you've been emailing UCLA four times, it's time to move on or change your strategy. But let's say you still really want to play UCLA, which I would commend you for that. You would need to ask them, look, I've sent my video multiple times. May I ask if I'm a part of the recruiting class for 2026 or 2025? And ideally, they'll give you an honest feedback, but they receive thousands of emails a day. And that's probably not realistic. So instead, what you're going to need to do is talk to your club coach and say, coach, I want to play UCLA. Is that realistic? Like get, ask them straight up so that way they can tell you. If they say to you, like there's a player I know who's part of Santa Monica Surf and they play Boys Elite Academy and UCLA was talking to the kid because the kid was really good. Now they encourage the kid, look, you probably need to play MLS next because I need to see you in a more competitive environment. I also know that if I'm recruiting you right now and you're a sophomore, you are going to develop a lot over the next few years and the kids who are playing MLS next are gonna get better faster because they're playing against better players. So if you're not doing that, you know, there's a chance I'm not gonna recruit you. But my point is as a junior, sophomore, junior, the student was gaining the attention of the UCLA coach despite not playing MLS next. But what he needed to do was consider switching teams. And if you can go get the interest of an LMU, even a Cal State LA, who's like the division two champions, and then say, look, UCLA, I haven't heard from you, but I'm really interested. You know, here's the other interest I have. UCLA might turn around and go, okay, okay. I didn't know that, you know, we did write you off or we were got busy or who knows. You know, it'd be great to get to know you again. But UCLA is amazing. They play great soccer. Their coach is fantastic. Their coaches are fantastic. And to get recruited by UCLA is no easy task. Now, this player that I showed you the video of, his name is Tamir. He's a baller. I played with him personally. I think he's a pro-level soccer player. And how do you then decide between going pro and choosing college? We can get to that in another video. But to get recruited by UCLA, or we'll just call it top soccer schools, boys or girls, 
you need to send multiple video. And as you can see here, they needed to see him five times before they were gonna make him an offer. So he went to one game, then he went to a game week after week after week. He was also a local kid, so it was easier. And then was able to make him an offer. And this happened to him his junior year. So he was all done his junior year. So if you wanna have a chance, you need to start the recruiting process earlier if you're not the most talented player ever. So that way, the coaches can come see you. If you want more help in deciding how, what you should do, given the fact that you're maybe not the most talented player ever, give me a call, link in bio. You might be the most talented, but maybe you're not being seen properly, and that's how I felt. Give me a call. Talk to you soon.